Hello everyone, I am Shoshi Zotto and welcome you to another video of Curapix. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can convert a picture into black and white. So, let's get started. So, we have this picture. Now if you want to download this picture and use it for editing then this website is linked below in the description. So now what we're gonna do is we will change this picture into black and white. So there are a couple of ways to do this. First of all let's start with this panels alright. What we can do is black and white means we all know that we need to desaturate this picture. Now, if we just increase the contrast of this picture, the highlights, we'll just go around all these panels, okay. And we will see how we can give it some magic look. It's, it's somehow looking good. Now if you just boost the clarity image and work a little with the curves then we'll achieve something good. Then, yeah, it looks a little cinematic though but it looks good. Okay. Now our video is not only about this this is easy we all can do this okay now i'm going to show you in this picture let me show you something this was the final picture and this is the black and white one now can you see the various levels of colors in this picture we have blue we have yellow we have green we have little red portions and all now what we're gonna do is we will change this into black and white and we will adjust various levels of the colors in the black and white mode and we will come to this panels letter okay so we're starting again but this time we will not start with desaturating this image no not now let's come down okay. here BNW Click it. We are getting the black and white version. Now I don't know why this all has changed. I'm going to first take all them to zero. We will bring all of them to zero. Then only we could start fresh move. Now we have this thing black and white version of this picture now what we're gonna do is we are going to work with all these levels of the picture and we will adjust how much light or how much darkness does we want in these areas in these various areas to give this picture a more dramatic look okay so let's see with this we will start from here let me show you something I'm just zooming in this thing we have little amount of red in here okay and now what happens if we just move this red cursor see it's getting a little dark it's getting light okay let me show you let me zoom in see this place you see how these places are being affected yeah now what we're gonna do is we will work on them for example see the sky and the water now if we just move this blue cursor you can see right what is happening in the picture if you bring down the blue then we're getting a dark area and if we just boost up the thing 
then we are getting light over there so we will not adjust this how it will look good okay so first as we have a lot of blue places here so first we will work with the blue ones and then we will go to aqua then we will head towards green right so as we say blue so how let's see which versions look good if we just dark in this place all right and in aqua see this controlling the water you will just see whether it looks good or not and it's all up to you it depends on the picture that you are editing the level of the panels how you want to adjust them it's all depends upon you okay, I'm just showing the basic things how much we want them Portion, you see this place? It has tons of yellow, so yeah, maybe, maybe this is kind of it's okay. Uh, I don't think we have, yeah, it's a little purple here. And bring the purple down. Do you have magenta here? No, maybe no magenta. I can't see them. No, no magenta. Okay. So this is it. Now, if you want, then we can adjust these panels. We will bring down the exposure. All right. Oh, you want a sunny day okay i will just bring down the exposure we will work with the contrast a little later highlights i want them to be minus around minus 30. i said one minus 31 sorry for that statement shadows i'm gonna increase the shadows yeah it's okay whites And black. It's looking good. It's going to be pretty good. Now maybe we will work with the clarity. But do we need this? A little. Okay. Yeah, minus last seven. Okay, that's good. So we have our image ready and now we will work with the contrast. Is it looking good? Okay, this much is okay. It's a landscape picture. I can see that here already we have a vignette. But we will see whether the profile connection. And whether we want the vignette. Let's see. Okay, a little. Yeah. Yeah, it's good it's good so the basic of our image is ready now I'm going to show you a little more but how can you do this let's go to gradient filter see I'm just I'm just showing you whether it works or not all right yeah make sure it's new Click on this. Bring down the exposure. Drag it up. Bring down the. Yeah. Uh, this. I'm satisfied with minus 0.69. Okay. Okay. Done. So. I just. I just like this picture. Okay. It's have a little have some feelings in this picture and uh, for me 
it's looking good i'm satisfied now i will jump to another picture okay i have another picture here for you now well, this is a beautiful picture isn't it if you want to download this picture and use it for photo editing then the website is linked below in the description go check it now develop we will do the same thing again forget about all this and we will go to pnw now oh, it's black and white we will bring all this down to zero i don't know why this is all changed yeah so which are the major colors of this picture green blue little aqua or cyan whichever you call it. So, now let's work with uh, blue this aqua or the cyan green maybe like this okay. do we have anything else yeah some extra colors are there also. let's see what we can do oh well Red colors at all, little in the sky, but not at all. Orange, yeah, little orange. I'm going to boost them up. Boost orange. Little. I don't think we have magenta here. No magenta. Purple, little in the sky. Okay. So, this is the thing. Now, if you want to make the sky a little more contrast. So click on adjustment brush, make sure that then just click on new, show selected mask overlay, paint over it. Make sure if you want some areas these areas brush it off then you can easily do it by going going to erase okay. just drop this place it's quite easy okay Check this show selected mask overlay and then increase the contrast here. Let's see. Increase the contrast here. Increase the exposure. Decrease contrast a little. Like, uh, 49. Okay. Highlights. Yeah, it's working. Minus 100. Shadows. down yeah, it's like minus 82 or 77 now increase the clarity wow it's looking great isn't it sharpness a little not much a little up to 70 no work of the fringe okay. see you so we are done we are done with our picture now we will see about this middle part again go to adjustment brush make sure it's new show selected mask overlay paint over this portion we want this to be 
seems to be a little more prominent. Increase the size of the brush. Right. Like this, we are going to raw figure it. Sorry. Sorry for the inconvenience. And check this show selected mask overlay. Now let's see the magic. Exposure. We're going to increase the contrast. Alright. Highlights down or up. Okay, 24. Shadows. Alright, minus 59 or 60. Clarity. 59 I'm giving a high clarity okay I think we have introduced noises over here let's see we have introduced a lot of noise here so we will decrease the sharpness a little bit a little bit okay and this will do no, uh, how it's looking. Okay, sharpness to minus 10, I'm satisfied. And we are done. Now we're going to give a finishing touch by graduated filter. Make sure it's new on this Suppose it down. another graduate filter new you just want a little or else it may look bad I think it's yeah that's all right that's all right for me so this is before and here we have the after doesn't it look cool yeah so this is the easiest way to turn your picture into black and white yeah obviously working with those graduated filter or adjustment brush these are all optional you will use it as per your choice I used it because I thought that some places I need to adjust okay but that's not the part of the tutorial the part of the tutorial was that how we can work with this BNW and we can change the various panels of red, orange, yellow, green, and aqua, blue, purple, magenta in our black and white picture as per your choice. So I hope you have liked this video and do subscribe and comment and share this video and I will be right back with another video. Until then, see ya. Bye.